story that we have been following here. The father of a Parkland shooting victim has been standing outside the White House demanding a meeting with President Biden in an effort to urge action on gun violence. Joining us now is the father of the Parkland shooting victim, Joaquin Quag Oliver, and the founder of ChangetheRep.org, Manuel Oliver. Manuel, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And so tell us that you know, you're finally going to get into the White House, but there's no meeting with President Biden yet, right? No, not yet. Um, I was actually um, advised by, by some friends and members of um, Senate and Congress to, to go ahead and have this meeting with what, what we believe is the highest authority behind um, the fight against gun violence that is coming from uh, the um, administration. So w w we went there, and I, thanks to um, Chris Murphy, Ted Deutsch, and, and Mike Taunton, these are politicians that came to talk to me about what are the options, what are the, the they became facilitators to make this happen. So I did have the meeting. I. Uh, I was expecting to meet with Joe Biden. I still want to meet him. Um, but then we went back and forward with different points uh, that I would love to share with you guys. Um, Ted Deutsch, obviously the congressman uh, of Parkland, where Parkland is. Uh, Chris Murphy, who is now a senator but was a congressman where the Sandy Hook shooting to put, took place. So these are political leaders who have a very intimate knowledge and experience with school shootings. What did you hear from these White House officials, Susan Rice, Senator Brickman? So there was a lot of um, uh, information about things that the administration has accomplished, and we already celebrated all of those. Um, but I wanted to get to the point where, where we could bring other options, you know? Um, it's true that President Biden has, has done um, more than uh, probably any other president when it comes to uh, defeat, try to defeat gun violence. However, people still die, and that was my point yesterday inside that office. I, I understand your intentions. Um, this is it. That, that's the group that is um, representing um, the fight against gun violence. That's like the opposition of the NRA and, and the gun industry and the gun lobby. So I think that we should uh, have more people involved. That's what we um, um, thought and, and exchanged with them. When I say we, I'm talking about Fred Gutenberg and myself. And um, also the, the calls for, uh, for urgency, right? Like, we really need this to happen. Um, we were there for more than an hour, which I appreciate. But you know what? During that hour, at least four people were shot and died because of gun violence. So this is not about things that we have been able to do. It's about the things that we haven't been able to do, the things that we need to do right now. And one of those things is signing legislation. And President Biden has said, you know, he'll sign it if it comes to his desk, but there has been none passed by Congress. There's no real momentum behind any of it. So what did White House officials say to you about a push that they're going to make, if they're going to make one, when it comes to this? Well, that's that's what I see as an absence of a plan um, against gun violence. Like, I cannot, I, and this is my personal thought, so my only option here, if I go on the political game, is to wait for November next year so we can have more senators in our side and they can approve the bills and they can pass the bills. A bill won't save a life. And we can celebrate it and we can go crazy. Yes, we're getting somewhere, but we're not. We are not. So a year is 40,000 people losing their lives. And every, every number when it comes to gun violence is just rising. It's not, nothing is... Uh, better than before. So I need to, and I started the meeting yesterday blaming myself because I wanted everybody to understand that this is our fault. And, and I didn't see that uh, reaction of this is our fault from many of the persons that were in that meeting. I think that we need to start blaming ourselves uh, because of what's happening. Manuel, I know that this has obviously been very close to your heart. You stood outside the White House for several days saying that you would stay there throughout Christmas if you needed to. I know you said that Christmas has not been the same, of course, since you lost your son, and we're very sorry for that, and we'll be thinking of you over the holidays. Yeah, um, you know what? That's not a sacrifice. If you consider that my son was shot four times, he was still alive when he was shot again twice, um, that's a sacrifice. That's pain. Um, and I want to make this very clear. We have been discussing, debating this, which is not undebatable. We, this shouldn't be a debate behind uh, if we agree or not that innocent people should die just because of 
no reason at all, and we can live a normal life with that. From now on, Manuel Oliver, the followers of Manuel, the followers of Joaquin, the people that, the universe that is fighting against nonviolence will show zero tolerance. And if the administration is not making that call, which we asked yesterday, we asked yesterday that we needed President Biden to create, to, to, to declare war to gun violence during the speech at the State of the Union. However, if he doesn't, we will. But not me by myself. Everyone that is listening to me right now, they know that we had enough. And we're going to make this happen. And the kids are with us. Zero tolerance to gun violence starts now. And we will go from every single angle. This is not about go, uh, owning a gun or not. You are not the center of the universe, Mr. Gun Owner. This is about people dying. Manuel Oliver, um, we appreciate everything you've done. It breaks my heart a little bit to hear you blame yourself for action not happening, but I understand what you're saying. Everyone should be blaming themselves right now. Thank you so much for being with you. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Have a great day.